My name is Mike Ernst. I'm the Chief Operations Officer here at Expedite All. As far as my role and responsibility, it's really on the customer facing, the customer acquisition side. Uh, what we're framing up is a strategy to help our partners within the manufacturing and the brokerage world uh, offer a turnkey solution for those smaller vehicle options. I spent 22 years in the LTL industry, and I think, you know, I was very fortunate. I I was in each aspect of the organization. So I started out at the ground floor in supervision, working at small facilities. I uh, worked at large distribution hubs. I was in sales, sales management, and then, you know, started to get into leadership positions, running some of our larger facilities uh, within that organization, and then even, even into the director and the vice president roles, overseeing our, our line hall network. But I think where that's helped me, again, is just understanding each portion of the business, each customer and how they make decisions, and then how to frame up a solution that fits within their needs. Again, when we talk about transportation, there's a number of different modes, right? What we have to do is come up with creative solutions to meet the needs of our customers, whether that be a direct manufacturer we're working with, or whether that be a brokerage that we're offering um, you know, our network to. We've got to understand what they're looking for, so we are constantly in communication to see how can we improve and how can we start to solve some of the problems that our customers are looking uh, for a transportation solution for. We have approximately 7,000 vehicles uh, within the North American footprint, uh, so we have a pretty vast network that we can offer. And again, we're looking for partnerships that we can bring a solution that helps fit their customer needs. If you think about you know, our technology solution, really what it offers our customers is the ability to go in and find a truck within that region they're looking to pick up. Uh, those could be the you know, sprinter vans, box trucks, street trucks. Uh, really, the, the shipment sizes that are our key niche or that one to 14 pallet uh, opportunity, but we, we bring a technology advantage that allows a um, one-touch solution uh, to really find a vehicle uh, within the time frame that, that you need to make a pickup and then execute on the delivery side based on what your customer needs are. The great part about the, the TMS solution that we provide is, again, it's real-time GPS tracking. I don't know a competitor that has live GPS tracking that they offer uh, their customers. We do. Our drivers are on an application that's connected directly with our technology platform that we can see every movement they make. So. It again is that reassurance, you know exactly where your shipment is uh, in that transit you know, period between pickup and delivery. So from a technology standpoint, again, we've got all of our drivers on our TMS. So again, we can see them, we can find them. That's something we also give our customers access uh, to through our sales portal. So the way our system works, let's say you've got something picking up in uh, Chicago. They can actually find out how many of the various vehicles are right there within a certain mile radius of the zip code that they're putting in. So step one, they can take a look at how many vehicles are there. Uh, gives them the reliability again that, you know, these are real vehicles, they're live vehicles, they're at their disposal. Two, we've got a rate calculator. So if they're looking to understand what the price for that move would be, uh, we've got a rate calculator that can provide that instantly to them. And then obviously they can do real-time quoting and booking through the system. Some of the specific features we have, you know, you think about our truck map. Again, we talked earlier, you can, you can, you can pull up a zip code and zoom in and see exactly where those pieces of equipment are. Buy equipment type, whether they're available, how far out they are. From a TMS, from a technology solution, um, you know, I think really it, it's a dual benefit, right? Um, it's for our customers because they get all the visibility, the one-stop shop, the quote, to book, to track, all of those good things. But it all, it's all also a solution for our drivers because everything we do is back and forth through that application. We send them their paperwork, they confirm pickups, they take pictures of the freight at the point of pickup and delivery. So again, it really brings everything together within one solution so that our drivers see everything going on, we see everything taking place, our customers have the same access to all the information. So it's not that you have to call and wait for a response. Everybody's in the same world through that TMS platform that we have, that proprietary system that offers us a cradle to grave solution from a paperwork, uh, a booking, a traceability, you name it. And I think, again, that's something that differentiates us from our competition. It's a one-stop shop. So when you think about LTL, there's a lot of touch points. There's a lot of, um, it's almost like a relay race, right? You're continuing to hand the baton on. 
Um, in many cases, customers were looking for a faster service option with a higher reliability. And again, one of the other keys that we offer is that dedicated equipment. We're not co-mingling, we're not handling your shipment. You know, when you book, you're booking that equipment from origin to destination. When I look back at my previous history, there are a number of cases I can think about where customers would have loved to have a solution like that. Because again, it takes out any risk for damage. Um, again, when you're going point A to point B with no stops or, or handoffs or transfer points in between, it's a faster service. And again, it gives that comfort and security for those moves that you need to be faster than a normal transit, especially within LTL. Uh, and then also that dedicated equipment where you know once it's locked down at the point of pickup, it's going to end up uh, arriving at Destination Factory fresh as it left your facility. We have 7,000 unique vehicles that we know the driver. We know the vehicle number of the equipment. Uh, we've helped onboard them, train them. We have standards that these are carriers that we've put hundreds or thousands of loads on. Uh, again, it's a very stringent process that we hold them accountable to our standards because we want to be the elite provider of those small truckload uh, expedite type shipments on dry and refrigerated equipment. So, you know, I think that is a huge differentiator from some of our competition. E-commerce kind of took off in COVID, right? Nobody wanted to go out and shop for anything. It's that effect that you could jump on an application, order something, and somebody dropped it off at your door within, you know, uh, two days or three days, maybe one day. I think that's really what people are looking for anymore. Even the grocery um, industry. I see the world changing, uh, again, for, for those immediate needs, that immediate gratification to be able to order something and get it. I think that's where small truckload can come in and help provide a solution. I don't want to wait five days to get, you know, my order. I want I wanted 24 or 48 hours. Again, that's where our responsiveness within, you know, the network we have, as well as that door-to-door -door service. Automotive is a big industry that we partner with. Pharmaceuticals, you know, that's a no-touch solution, a dedicated solution. Again, we've got the refrigerated and the dry equipment, so they need the reliability. They need the freight protected. They don't need the damages. What would be my career if I wasn't in logistics? Um, at one point, I thought I was going to be a professional baseball player. I uh, loved the sport, really enjoyed it, loved the team uh, camaraderie, the competition, um, the nuances that come with the sport. Uh, Would have loved to. Unfortunately, the body had enough, so I had to, I had to go back to school and get a real job. Um, but nonetheless, I think it also translates well into transportation because, again, it's a team game. Um, to win and lose as a team. So I think, you know, what I got to experience, you know, growing up and playing baseball, which again was well, was a love and a passion of mine, helped me understand the importance of working and collaborating as a team to reach those final goals that you set for yourself. So again, if it wasn't for transportation, uh, if I had if I had the talent, the body would have held up and maybe professional baseball. But I love where we've gone, where I've gone as far as uh, being in this industry because it's a down-to-earth, blue-collar industry where you know, people are really passionate about servicing customers, creating solutions, developing those long-term strategies, and fighting to get there. It's a passionate industry, and I think that fits well with, with my personality. Within our industry, there are a number of challenges. Uh, the driver shortage, another problem within the transportation industry, but one we're solving as we continue to increase our network. We truly believe we'll be at 20,000 vehicles within the next probably five to six years. Uh, but we continue to build those partnerships out again to provide a solution. If I had to pick three, I'd say we're extremely efficient in what we do. We're extremely safe and reliable, and then we're extremely fast.